over, me again, because my uh, last video turned out to be uh, a marginal success in that a couple of people watched it and I received very few realistic sounding death threats, uh, I thought I'd do another little one just to uh, show you around the basic sort of campsite, the sort of place I've been living for the last eight, nine months or so now. First up, apologies for the appearance, it's been uh, a fairly dusty few weeks, these last few weeks. Um, so let me get on with the show, show you around. Right, if you'd like to follow me this way, I shall show the garage. Here's the garage. Nice, isn't it? As you can see, the uh, bike is pretty much the same as it's always been. Same as it was in the last video, although now it's got uh, a lot more dust attached to it, I think. Um, and that's about all I keep in the garage, really. One motorcycle. Right then, moving on. Allow me to take you to the, uh, the study. The, the lounge, the living area, whatever you want to call it, really. Here we have the domicile. Let me show you around. Uh, before we go in out here, you can see the, uh, the motorcycle boots. These stay out here to ensure my continuing good health. Here we have the main living area. As you can see, lovely and spacious. Room enough for more than one person, if I'm lucky. Over here, we have the uh, main entertaining area where I like to uh, entertain guests for uh, dinner parties and such like. I also like to store the motorcycle gear in here when it's not being used. Also at the war room where I plan where I'm going. It's my map here, <laughs> looking a little bit worse for wear. Lighting wise, we've got the head torch, that's about it. Daylight as well is always useful. Um, entertainment wise, we've got a uh, little MP3 player here with about 200 songs on that you get really, really sick of after about three months. Um, it also leads to the occasional bout of um, embarrassing sort of dancing around um, the campsite, but luckily I don't think I've got any of that on video. Obviously, uh, as well as the old uh, MP3 player, we've got uh, the ever-valuable books. A uh, nice intelligent-sounding one here to make me look clever for this video. <laughs> um, obviously, uh, entertainment-wise, we've also got uh, talking to the kangaroos, that kind of thing, but uh, they're kind of very political and they get a bit uptight, so it's hard to have a decent conversation with them. Uh, we've got the old helmet stored here when it's not on my head. Um, and I think that's probably about it for the main living area. Allow me to take you through to the bedroom. Here we are in the bedroom. Obviously, the uh, good old sleeping mat here, which is currently full of holes, again. Uh, so it's basically just like sleeping on the floor. Um, sleeping bag here, just be glad this is not smell-o-vision. Um, and these are some rolled up blankets that I picked up in uh, the snowy mountains when it was absolutely bloody freezing. Um, that I just use as a, blanket, as a uh, pillow. Sorry. Uh, normally, plump the old motorcycle trousers, but uh, as I happen to have these, they're just a little bit softer and also slightly less smelly. Um, and I think that's probably about it for the uh, the main tent side of things. Allow me to take you through to where the magic happens. Culinary magic, that is, of course. Here we are in the kitchen. Obviously, we've got the mug here, always useful, with the um, world's greatest invention, the spork. Cooker, pretty standard, unless I can light a fire, I use this, and one very dented billy can, as it uh, happens to be unlucky enough to take the brunt of most crashes. Um, with that uh, Michelin-starred kitchen, you are able to cook up such delights as cardboard-flavoured rice, um, cardboard flavoured pasta, um, cardboard flavoured porridge, and
and if you're feeling really extravagant, you can even go for surprisingly potatoey instant mashed potato. Jamie Oliver would be proud. Um, and that's about it, really. Nothing much else to show you. There's not a great deal else involved in uh, camping while you're travelling around on a motorcycle. Um, I'm sure other people would do it other ways, but um, this is how I ended up doing it. Um, that's about it, really. Yeah. Wipe your feet on the way out, anyway.